Hi, this is Megan at Megan's Creations. Today I'm going to show you how you can take an extracted element like this frame and a leaf and make them into a stamp. So the first thing you want to do is to desaturate. So I'm um, going here to image adjustments, desaturate and I desaturate it and then to really bring out the darks I'm also going to adjustments and I'm going to go to brightness contrast and um, you want to try to bring up the contrast as much as possible this will make your blacks blacker and your whites whiter and then um, sometimes the con the bright bringing up the brightness also helps add to that contrast. Um, we want some difference between our lights and medium tones and our dark tones. So you can play around with this till you get uh, what you really want. Um, and then we'll go to select color range. And under select there's these options down here, highlights, midtones, shadows. I mainly like to stick with the shadows and whatever is white in this little um, preview section is what is going to be selected and that looks pretty good. It gives me the edge of my frame here and then a lot of the decoration and click OK and now we'll go edit, copy, see that? edit, copy and then go edit uh, paste and that's what's left behind I just um, made the the frame layer invisible so you can see that this is the stamp we got by doing that and um, you can then create a new layer and just use the button down here create a new layer above the stamp and you know bucket fill it with whatever color you want to make the stamp and create a clippy mask I right clicked on the bucket filled layer and I'll select create a clippy mask and now it's um, a brown stamp and of course you can make this whatever color you want I'm just going to put on a white background so you can see how it shows up um, you know make the stamp whatever whatever color you want and if you zoom in you can see it, it kind of gives it this fun aged um, vintage look because of how this one is with how this frame looked and uh, it's just a fun way to do that to make it into a stamp. I have another example here for you. I have this leaf. Oh, that's the frame one right here. The leaf, um, Amanda Rockwell leaf. And again, we'll go through the same steps. Going to first desaturate it and then play around with the adjustments, color, brightness, and contrast. And I beef up the contrast a little bit, bring up the brightness a little bit. You see, all these veins are dark, so they're going to be they're going to come out when I do my selection. So that's going to be really cool. And so you just kind of play with it till you see till it looks right. You can always go back and adjust it. And um, now go to select color range, do shadows. Okay, you see that some of the veins are showing up there, and in this area here. And so I think that's a pretty good selection. Click OK, and then go edit. Get over here you see edit, copy, and then edit, paste, or you know, use your shortcut keys, control C and control V. And you'll see I've got this really fun um, stamp now. And what I, the reason I like it is uh, with this leaf is because it kind of gives like the idea that we put paint on the leaf and then stamped it down on something, um, like kids' projects. It's really cool. Um, I think cool effects for leaves and so I'll go ahead and I'll make it orange like there's orange paint and then zoom in at 100% and show you how how it looks like that see kind of cool like as if we like I said put paint on it and stamped it down so um, really fun make your own stamps fill up a paper with them and um, do some fun things by making your own stamps. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and fun and can't wait to see what you create and I'll see you next time.